Good morning. Uh, it may be on the ground before I get there. Oh, I cannot do this. Man. Just like I'm shot through with an arrow. Well, if I had a back, I broke it three times and I feel every one of them. All right, we're rigged. We didn't need it, but we're rigged just because of the liabilities. It's a big tree. You see my hands. I also don't want to pound a wedge in it because swinging the ax is really hard. But we're rigged here. I don't know if any of this will come out, but we'll give her a tug. I got a snatch block there. Got one up the hill. Not gonna take much. She was right on the edge. Here we go, Timber. Okay. saw because if I don't dad won't know I'm okay so um unfortunately this tree though it was still flourishing out the top in green and it died in a 45 day period now I know why and I left a massive amount of holding wood uh for two reasons number one I got into some rot and that's really a bummer. I was hoping this whole sugar pine was going to be good. Because it was just... Died from the bottom up. In 45 days, it went from thriving to dead. Now I know why. So, there's no beetle kill in it. It's probably root laminate. And it's a disease in the roots. And the only way to prove that would be to dig the stump up and look at the roots. But we're guessing that's what's going on with the sugar pines. But because of the liabilities, it seemed best to rig it. And the truck just fit underneath there, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, wish this was in a little better shape, but it is what it is. And it was also leaning pretty heavy. Um, but not towards the building. I just wanted to go out that direction. <laughs> All right. Well, at least that's down and the wind's not going to blow it on the house. That's a good thing. That saw year by year is getting harder and harder to handle. It's just, I'm strong enough. It's just my, uh, where I broke my back. It just, as soon as I pick up weight, it just sets right down on the nerves and then my hands go to sleep and the tremor and the monoclonus kick in. And, but it's down. I'm happy about that. It's down. So we'll mill it up, see if there's anything in it. What do you think of that? All right. Save the dogwood. That was the most important part was to save that dogwood tree. Save that dogwood and save this oak. But... That oak is leaning over the swimming pool area. And so Carol wants that one out of there and it blocks her morning light and the swimming pool won't heat up. That'll be next year's firewood. Okay, have a blessed day. We got one sugar pine bud up here.
direction. That's better. Perfect. So we unhook it from the snatch block. Get it straight in. And this is loading with the gantry boom rather than the loading arch just because it's easier in this particular application. I'll try one more time. I gotta hold this, hold the camera, and hold the cable where it'll feed through the fair leads. All right. Yep, Dad's 86. Best man I know by far. I could be half the man my dad is and half the man my sons are. I'd be doing all right. I'm trying to save the dogwood tree. So far that old rotten log is breaking up. Looks like we're going to save it. Yep. Can't believe it. That dogwood tree is very important. Just the most amazing, beautiful flowers. And then it's food for the turkeys in the fall. more? Yeah. Quite a group. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I got to get a different purchase. Got it. How about that? Can't beat it. <laughs> I see you seeing me. <laughs> Better get this block out. Coming in.
Yep. Thanks. Family, friends, and survivors. Well, Carol has got most of the tomatoes processed, ready to can. And this is one Serrano plant. And this is the other Serrano plant. That's a pretty good yield, one per plant. Yep, I grew four of them. Quite a few other kinds of peppers that are still doing well, but these guys were turning red. And once they hit red, they're they're done. I mean, you, you might as well as, as dry them right there. So what I do is I put them in the blender. And I use the pressure cooker to cook rice and beans use a pressure cooker so I don't have to soak the beans overnight and ground dried cilantro and that's it I'm almost out I didn't grow any last year because I didn't need to but this will give me about oh maybe two years worth it'll fill four or five of these things I think okay it can be pretty overwhelming if you breathe this dust you're going to be on the floor so you don't want to do that with the placentia and the seeds because a lot of the heat's in the seeds and yeah, it works for me here's the second batch Okay, filled that jar, that jar, and this one full. And the last batch that I did, I ground really, really fine so I could use the shaker top on that. This stuff, you'll pull it out with a measure. Usually I put a teaspoonful in with my rice and beans. Spices it up just right. Uh, we didn't really starve these uh, serranos like we do sometimes to get the peppers really really hot they were watered well throughout the year so they're they're warm um yeah i was sneezing and my eyes running uh, definitely when i was grinding them up but not as bad as a jalapeno would be but really any of those peppers only get hot if you starve them of water the capsicum is a a chemical that uh, preserves the plant in extreme heat. So if they're, if it's not a real hot summer and you're overwatering your peppers, they're not going to be hot, but these are plenty warm, any warmer and Carol won't cook with it at all. And uh, I love it, but I don't like paying for it later, if you know what I mean. So we stick with the Serranos. Don't typically go hotter than Serrano. Jalapenos are okay. They make one called a Jalapeno Tamed. But I think there's more flavor in the Serrano. Anyway, hope that helps. Have a blessed day.